A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there was a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, With the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord, Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about 12 men. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven, as wax melts before the fire. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. But the just rejoice and exult before God, they are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you come, you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived, when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage, I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, I was praying uh, for quite a while on on this on this gospel here, um, trying to really get to the to the heart of uh, Jesus' words and and what he means. Uh, the first part when um, the disciples say, "Okay, we understand what you're saying, so we're all good." And then he says, "Really, you believe now? The hour is coming, and you will be scattered." Um, What's going on? Uh, so Jesus, he's seeing um, a crack in their foundation, a chink in the armor of the disciples. So the disciples, you know, they've been having, so we're at the end, we're, we're nearing the end now of the, the Last Supper discourses. Uh, Jesus kind of, there's been this back and forth. Uh, you know, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father, I'm the vine, you are the branches, ask for anything in my name. And the disciples are kind of, you know, tugging and trying to understand. They're asking these questions. And and now they feel like, oh, okay, we get it. We get it. And Jesus just basically is saying, no, I don't think you do get it. Why? So why why don't they get it? And why would why would Jesus say, you don't get it. You're, you're going to be scattered in just a few moments here. Why doesn't Jesus just let them, you know, say, yeah, you, okay, you're fine. So let's let's move on. So why don't they get it? They say they get it, but they don't. Uh, Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. So belief is is more than something in the mind. It's not something you get, like 2 plus 2 equals 4, or the Civil War was fought between 1861 and 1865. It's not a faith in, in Jesus and trust and surrender isn't isn't something purely in the mind. You can know God, you can you can really know what it means to trust God, but but to live it, to have it be in your being, to incorporate it into your identity is is something else. And and that happens in time. So the apostles are getting their they're they're getting their start here. Uh, but now they've got the rest of their life to to live, to have this this truth sink into their being. 
And, and the process of having the truth sinking into your being entails setbacks and failures. Um, and the apostles are going to see this, right? So they say they know God, but then they're going to flee in the Garden of Gethsemane. And then they're going to flee during the, uh, during the way of the cross. But they'll come back and they'll have their failures again. But then they'll come back and they'll deepen and their trust and they'll realize, yeah, God is the meaning of our life. And he's the only thing we need. So same with us. All right, so we say we believe, we, we know God, and we know he's all-powerful, and we know it, it, it behoove us to, to trust in him. And we're going to have our moments, though, when we doubt, when we, we cling to our own path of salvation, and then we're filled with anxiety, and, we'll, and then we'll, it'll dawn on us, okay, we're not trusting. we got to go back to it. So that's why Jesus, I think, doesn't let them just say, yeah, okay, you believe, so we're all good. You know, Let's just move on now. Um, because the path of faith, which is also the path of love, is a path that never ends in this life. And it's a path that goes deeper and deeper and longer. And the deeper and the longer it goes, the harder it gets, but the more beautiful and more enriching it, it becomes. So Jesus is never satisfied with us. When we think, okay, we figured it out, like the path has ended, Jesus is going to tell us, nope, you're, you're only midway. You're just, you're not even out of the woods yet. So not to discourage us, but to, to get us to keep going. Because when we do fall and we realize, you know, we fall off the path that we get back on it because then the Lord has greater plans in, in store for us. So let's be like the disciples. We're going to scatter, but we'll come back to the Lord and let's just trust in him. Amen.